Here I'm sitting next to a specimen of Mylidaphus bipartitis. Uh, it's the second known specimen in the world of associated teeth, vertebrae, cartilage, and uh, denticles. And these are little spines found on the surface of uh, a ray. And this is a freshwater ray. The other known uh, specimen uh, actually also came from Dinosaur Provincial Park. And to actually come up with the second one in the world, uh, that's pretty interesting. When we first came out here, we noticed that Myliodaphus teeth were scattered across the complete surface uh, of this hill. And just by laying down uh, on, your, on your stomach and taking a look at the ground, we were able to collect you know, hundreds of teeth in a very short amount of time. And what I'm holding in my fingers uh, is um, a six-sided tooth from what would have been the upper jaw of an adult Mylidaphus. These teeth would be situated adjacent to each other uh, such that it would form a pavement across the biting surface of the mouth. Uh, it's held in the mouth by a, a two-part root uh, that's very characteristic for Mylidaphus and uh, that's uh, owing to its name, uh, bipartitis. In 1998, uh, the Royal Turrell Museum made a startling discovery, and that's this specimen you see here. I'll just point out a few of the structures here. Uh, the head region is up here. Uh, the lower jaw is here. The upper jaw is here. You can see the pavement of teeth here. There's nostrils. There's the pectoral fin, which is part of the disc, and there would be another one over here. The vertebral column runs right through here. The gill arches are in here. And this is uh, the pelvic fin back here. This is a very important specimen in that we now know what the teeth of Mylidaphus bipartitis look like in an arranged uh, dentition. We uh, have a lot to gain from study of uh, specimens like these. We can understand more about their ecology, their biology, uh, their size. This is another piece of the puzzle and we're quite excited about what it can provide to us uh, for information.